Hi, this is Lindsay Brew Munoz here to tell you about the app called Opinion. In this app, you can create podcasts. It's very easy to use. I'm going to walk you through step by step. First, click on the app. It looks like this. The next thing you'll see will look exactly like this. It doesn't look very complicated. To get started, just click on the record button. Once it's recording, it will look like this, and a timer will start counting up to count how long you've been recording. When you are through recording, re-click the record button. You'll be taken to a screen that looks like this that shows you recording. The area in pink will be much larger if your recording was very long. If you would like to add music, click on the music button in the top middle of your screen. It will bring you to a menu that looks like this. You can click on music library to add music from any song that you already have in your music library, or if you have another app where you have created music or have music, you can select that. For our purposes, we're going to use the music library, so please click on that. Your next screen will take you to the songs currently on your iPad. From this list, your list will obviously look different, select the song that you're going to use for your podcast. Please click on the name of the song. It will add it to the beginning of your podcast. If you notice, it's the large pink area. It will play first, and then your actual podcast will play whatever you've recorded of your own voice. There is no way currently to merge these two things to make the music play as you are speaking. If that is the effect you are going for, you may want to just play music using another device in the background as you record. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to say that we wanted to use some music to introduce our podcast. Instead of playing the entire song before we get to what we've recorded of our voice, you may just want to cut it to just the, the intro from the music. To do this, click on the side of the pink area where it has three bars. From here it will give you the option to cut the clips. Drag the slider with the scissors down to the bottom of the area if you want to keep it. Everything below the scissors will be deleted. When you are through, it will ask you, are you sure? Go ahead and hit remove. Your new podcast will now look like this, with just the intro or whatever piece you've kept of your music on the first part and what you've actually recorded on the second part. When you are ready to share and you have completed your podcasts, all you have to do is click on the share button on the top right. It will give you these three options unless you've already created one and then it will ask you if you want to add this to your recordings. However, since this is brand new, it will ask you start new podcast, share as file, or cancel. If you choose to share as file, it will give you the following options. You can send it as a message on iMessage, mail, Gmail if you have that loaded, or more apps. You can save it to Dropbox, SoundCloud, open in another application. There's a bunch of different options depending on what you have in your iPad. If you choose to go make a podcast, it will bring you to this page instead. At this point, you need to give it a name. Click in the box where it says Name of My Amazing Podcast and type something that you would like to name all of your podcasts, not just this one recording. When you're finished, click the next button at the top. It will check to see if your podcast name is available as a website because when you are through uploading, this will be the website address 
of your podcast. It will start with the regular web address for all their podcasts through this system and end with your name of your podcast. If your name is not taken, it will give you a check mark and you can proceed. Click next. If not, you'll have to choose something else that is not already taken. It will then ask you to upload a picture for your podcast. This is the generic default picture that will be uploaded for all of your podcasts on your page. It's the only picture that people will see when going to your podcast. Choose wisely, make sure it looks good. You can choose from the camera and take a picture of yourself or something else, or your photo library and choose something there. After you've chosen one, click Next. It will ask you to register your email address. I don't know why it saves this step to this point, but you're going to need a valid email address. Click in the box that says email, type in your email, and type in a password for your podcast. This is not blocking other people out. This is just making it so that you are the only one who can upload podcasts to your podcast page. When you are through, click next. It will say authenticating with new account to make sure that everything is good to go. As soon as that is done, it will bring you to the next page. This page is showing you your first podcast. You should type in a title in the first title box. Name it something that has to do with whatever you are talking about. The description box is a good place to describe what you're talking about to make it more worthwhile for listeners to actually listen to it. The artwork you chose earlier will be on the right. When you have finished doing all of these things, click Post. It will show you a moving box that says Uploading Episode. As soon as this is finished, it will notify you. It will say Upload Successful, and then you can promote your podcast to get more listeners or just share it with your friends. You can choose to share it on Facebook, Twitter, or email, or share it to other places. You can choose to open it or do other things. If using this in the classroom, you can have students email it or tweet it out using Twitter accounts created previously and send them to the teacher account. Or if you have a Facebook account set up for your classroom, you can have them post and share to that page. When you're finished, click Done. It will take you back to the page with your podcast that you just finished. It will ask you to start a new episode. After it's been uploaded online, it will ask you to delete the current episode. You can choose to cancel, but there's no reason to save them on the device if you've already uploaded. Go ahead and click delete. It will ask you to confirm one more time, just in case. Click yes, delete them and then it will take you back to the original screen where you can choose to create another podcast. This has been a tutorial on how to use Opinion to create podcasts.